So uh, we have one more. So we'll go back over here. We're gonna, hi, how are ya? It's been a while for all of us. We have one more. Here's another film that I've never heard of. This is a release from Arrow Academy. Arrow Academy is the sub-label or alternate label for Arrow Video that puts out a little bit more of the foreign documentary art house, the non-genre stuff so much. This is a film from 1960. It's a documentary where a filmmaker, documentarian from France or a team came to the US, traveled all over, shot all kinds of things that were going on that were interesting to them or maybe unusual to them. And then they uh, basically was made to present America as seen by a Frenchman. You have no clip for this. Oh, I have no clip for this. Sorry. But it wasn't it nice that we used that other camera. Uh, <laughs> it's... Okay, so uh, we only have a few minutes to fill here. So we have no clip for this because I couldn't find one online. So America is seen by a Frenchman from 1960. Um, it's a travelogue. It is, uh, it's, it's interesting to me because it's going into this, I didn't know anything about it other than the title. And I thought, oh, this might be interesting. It's how does somebody who's not from here see this place? Do they see it as fascinating, as terrible, as wonderful, or what is it? Um, it reminded me a lot of the Mondo movies that were made around this time, um, which this may have been inspired by those, like Mondo Kane and all this other stuff, um, that were basically strange rites and practices around the world. Basically, you have all of these shots of American life, whether it's uh, their sequence at the beginning where it's models on a beach and then it cuts to a model in a photographer's studio posing and it's Mary Tyler Moore. And they don't make any point about it being Mary Tyler Moore because this is 1960. This is just before she was doing the Dick Van Dyke show. She had done, I think she had a role, her legs had a role in Richard Diamond, Private Eye, I think is what, what it was. She had a bunch of bit parts, but she wasn't like famous. She wasn't Mary Tyler Moore at that point. So it's cool to see her as an anonymous model when now you look at it and go, hey, she's famous. Um, you have shots of like a prison rodeo. You have sequences that are the Miss America pageant uh, contestants going in for the competition. And I think you see, I think it's Marianne Mobley before she was famous. I think right before she won Miss America. So you have some people like before they were famous, but a lot of it is just looking at little slices of what makes America, America. The different locations, the landscapes, the, the rituals, the practices, the things that the celebrations that people have that are regional. And it's all covered in a narration that's very poetic and analytical and intelligent. And it's just interesting. Now it's in French, so the, the voiceover is in French and you'll get subtitles, but it's, again, it's not constant. It's more interesting what you're seeing. You're seeing uh, a judo class. You're seeing just, it's really all sorts of things. I don't even remember all of it, but it's, every little sequence is relatively brief. It reminded me also of the Cinerama films, the Cinerama travelogues that I love so much, where, and this was very widescreen too, so I'm also wondering if this is Cinerama or Cinerama Holiday kind of informed this movie a little bit too. I would have to check the dates as to which came out when. Um, this film has a little bit of a, it doesn't have a lot in the way of extras. It's got a featurette, and I think it's got an image gallery of, of photos that were taken during the production of the film. What I will say for this film is, one of the reasons I love the Cinerama movies is that it gives you a slice, gives you flashes of the world that aren't there anymore, or flashes of the world as they were in a very different form long ago. One of the things I love about Cinerama, this is Cinerama, where there's a drive down the Vegas Strip in the 50s, and it does not look like that anymore, and it looks gorgeous. America as seen by a Frenchman has a lot of that. Various cities and locations around America, various aspects of culture, be it the clothes, the homes, the decor, the cars, they don't look like that anymore. And this looks gorgeous. This looks so good. And the transfer is so sharp. You can, some people think film grain is not a good thing, but you, the texture of this is razor sharp and amazing. Like, I would recommend this to anybody who cares about history, who cares about Americana, or who cares about, mid-century or a little bit later, America, because it is such a portrait of who we were at that moment in time. It's, it's just, it's fascinating and it's gorgeous and I absolutely loved it. So that's America as seen by a Frenchman out now from Arrow Video.